In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D smooth camera typography animation as shown here very easily using After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Create a composition and import the sky background and the anime PNG. First of all, add the sky background and scale it up until it fills up the composition area. And now add the anime PNG, enable 3D for this layer and scale it up a bit. Now it's time to add the text. Align the text to the center. Now hold the Alt key and click on this anchor point tool to center the anchor point. Enable 3D for this layer as well. Open the position properties by pressing P on the keyboard. Now let's give it a Z position value of minus 400. Negative value brings objects closer to the camera and position it aside with the help of X position value. Make another copy of this text layer by pressing Ctrl D and re-edit the text in it and position it on the right side. Let's send it behind the PNG by giving it a Z position value of 180. Now let's create a camera layer and also add a null object as well. Enable 3D on the null layer and parent the camera to the null layer. Duplicate the null layer 6 more times so that we can have 7 null layers. Let me rename the null layers to avoid any confusion. Now with null one layer selected, open the position properties by pressing P and hold the shift key and press R to open rotation properties as well. Add keyframes on position and Z rotation values and press U twice on the keyboard to open only the properties which has keyframes. And to make the animation more interesting, let's add some animation to the text. So here I have a bouncy text animation preset. So let me add it. If you want, I will leave the link of it in the description. Press U to open the keyframes and adjust its timing according to the lyrics and do the same with the other text layer as well. Let's offset this layer so it does not appear at the beginning and don't forget to match its timing according to the lyrics. Add keyframes on null 1 position and Z rotation. And then come few frames forward. And let's give it a Z position of positive 500 to zoom in. And also give it a Z rotation of plus 3. And on the first keyframe, give it a Z rotation of minus 3. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease. Go to graphs and customize graph if needed for a smooth camera moment. Yeah, now it's much better. Now pair in the null 1 to null 2 layer and now place the playhead between these two keyframes and add position and Z rotation keyframes and come few frames forward and move it to the right side with the help of X coordinate value and give it a minus AI degrees Z rotation. Take a look at it and make some adjustments if needed. Now pair in null 2 layer to null 3 and add keyframes on position and Z rotation and come few frames forward and this time make sure you bring the image to the center and now zoom out with the help of Z position value. For the Z rotation, give it a positive 5 degrees rotation and easy is them. Let's zoom out even further. Now let's add some text layers. Hold the control key and double click on this pan behind anchor point tool to center the anchor point and align it to the center. Enable 3D on it and adjust the position properties as shown. Negative Z position value brings it closer to the camera. Now select the rectangle tool and create a line shape as shown. Extend the line as shown here. Make it a 3D layer. Position it below the text layer. Copy the Z position value from the text layer and paste it on the shape layer Z position value. Bring it up with the help of Y position value. Now this is what we have got as of now. Position the text layer at the center. Let's give it a Z position value of minus 13 degrees on both text and shape layers. 
Let's zoom out even further on null 3 z position value to create enough space. Now pair in the null 3 layer to null 4 and add position and z rotation keyframes. Place them between these two keyframes. Now come few frames forward and zoom out even further. Now duplicate these two shape and text layers and position them above. And let's give them a z position value of minus 3700 and also a z rotation value. And make sure the text is at the center. Now pair in null 4 to null 5 and follow along. You need to just repeat the same process. Now duplicate the text and shape layers for one last time. And give them a z position value of minus 4200. And bring the z rotation to 0 degrees. And now pair in the null file layer to null 6. And again repeat the same process. Bring the shape and text layers down. And finally add the bouncy text animation preset on these text layers as well. Press U to open the animated keyframes and adjust them according to the lyrics. Do the same with the other text layers as well. Here I forgot to easy ease the nullify keyframes. Adjust the timing for a smooth movement. Make sure you get a smooth camera movement by adjusting the position of keyframes. Finally, pair in the null 6 layer to null 7, add position and z rotation keyframes. Come few frames forward and zoom it all the way in to the subject and make sure the subject is at the center. And now come between these two keyframes and give a z rotation of minus i degrees just to have a tilted zoom in animation. Adjust the keyframes to have a smooth movement. Adjust the position of keyframes to have a smooth camera movement. Yeah, here we go. This is the final preview. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.